Hello guys, welcome to our ninth Laravel code hub tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna be handling the logic for storing the post when click, when people click post, we're gonna save store that in our database. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing I wanted to show you guys, like if, if people are not logged in, they shouldn't be able to access the page where they can post the question. We only wanna let authenticated users post stuff. So um, if I go to question and post, which was the link that we created, we're still able to see this, although we shouldn't. So to fix to fix that, I'm gonna go ahead under app and our HTTP and the controllers in the form controller that we created. Let's go ahead and type function and on our constructor. So we're gonna type function construct and within here we can handle that. We can just simply type this middleware. Well, this means this is going to check that if the user is authenticated and if he's not it's going to redirect him back so let me go home and I'm going to copy this url if i go home and i try to navigate back the same url it should take us to the login page so as you can see it took us to the login page and if we log in actually we are able to it will take us back to where we were before so it should take us to here so now that that's fixed all right so for this tutorial on the routes, let's go ahead and create the route first of all to get started with that. So I'm going to copy the route within the question here, group, which will be handled for the form. I'm going to change the request to a post request. I'm going to leave the name to post. I'm going to change this to post question, post underscore, and then question. And I'm going to call this post question. And I'm going to save this. So now that we have the routes, let's go ahead and create the migrations. So to create the migration, go to your code hub uh, directory under, you know, exam, type php artisan, make migration, and I'm gonna call this, the name of the file will be create categories, categories table. The name of the table I wanted to call is categories. So I'm gonna call it categories hit that let it run and then go under database migrations and you should see that migration created here all right so for the categories table we don't need much we have the primary key the timestamps which it is created at and updated at the times and let's go ahead and just have some string here for the name so I'm gonna call it name and this will just be the category name and save that now I'm gonna go back to my command line and create another migration and this will be for the posts. So I'm gonna call this posts, change this to create category, sorry, create posts table, run that as well. Go back there and let's go ahead and add this one also. So as you can see here, the post has been created, the migration. Here, oh, that was the wrong one, this is the post. So we have the post here also open. First thing we need is we will need a category ID, and we want the category ID to be a to be a foreign key. So we want the category ID to point back to the categories table because we want the categories to be come from to come from that table. So I'm going to call this category ID. I'm going to make it unsigned. Signed, and then I'm going to the foreign key constraint foreign on the category ID that we just created and this will reference it when you type references the categories table and on which column does the reference if you on the ID column now that we have that the other thing from the form here is since we have the category ID here we need the title and the body, so let's go ahead and create those as well. So I'm going to have a table, sorry about that, table and text. Title and same thing here, table, text and the body. So now that we have this migration, the both migrations, next step I'm going to go ahead and go to the command line and migrate those. So I'm just going to run php artisan migrate and hit enter 
and we should have those two migrated to our local host so when this finishes okay so we have an error here we might we have missed something so if we go back up here go to our database seems that I've ran those before so once you run those you should get no errors we have the tables here posts and my uh, sorry posts and categories and if you go into your categories I've inserted five categories here but you can do click on insert here and let me insert two more and you guys can insert like maybe if you go down here and change this to 10 you can insert 10 categories if you want so I'm gonna also insert here C and uh, let's say another language uh, Scala and I'm gonna go ahead and hit go and now that I've inserted these categories here I have all of them inserted I can see a few categories here you guys can insert as many as you want now next thing if you go back in our form here we can see under our question this is not dynamically loaded this is something that we hard coded in but we want this to bring the category we want this to display the categories that are in our database and to do that within our controller here I'm just going to type categories category and then all what we need to do we need to we need to define this model the category model we haven't defined that yet and then once we get the results here in the categories what we want to do is we want to pass that to the view and to do that I'm going to type compact and there's other ways you can also type width and pass it the but I'd like I prefer to do this compact and give it the categories so this will be passed to the view once we have it available and now we need to create this categories model so in in, in uh, eloquent once we have the model we know like which table and what goes on there and we will have all the relations once we create the model and then all we have to do is just say model and call this static method called all and that will give us basically whatever ev everything or all in our case all the categories are on this table get those and pass it to the categories here and then pass that to the view but to do that I'm gonna go ahead and create a within app I'm gonna create a folder called models and then within models I'm gonna create a file and I'm gonna call that category that PHP save that I'm gonna open this users.php here I'm gonna copy all this stuff paste it here we're gonna remove all of these includes because we do not really need any of them beside the eloquent I'm gonna get rid of this I'm gonna change the namespace to app models because in this case we are under the models folder I'm gonna remove all these interfaces from here we need the model there we don't need this and let's change our table to the categories table and move all this we only have a name and clear this all right so now that we have all this we have the model now we need to use it here so we need to include it in here let me go ahead and include that I'm gonna type use app models category so let me go ahead and go back to the view here and refresh it and we should see nothing new except we haven't found these categories app models category and that's in the models category that's because we need to change the name here from user to category and we forget to do that so let me save that there and we have the category and let's go ahead and refresh this one so now that we see, we see no changes but because this is hard coded in now what we want to do is we want to access this within our view itself and populate that in there let's go ahead back open under views so under resources and views pages and we're going to open this question page and here what we want to do is we want to populate that so to do that in blade I'm going to do a for each and I'm going to end for each here once we do that in here we have the access to the categories as so we want to loop around all the results that we have 
and we want to create we want to put the option tag in here I'm gonna get rid of this so in here I'm gonna have a value and the value we want it to be the ID itself because we want to store this value in the database so what we want to do here we're just going to type category and ID so we get the ID property and here we want to pass the name so I'm going to go ahead and this category and name all right so this will go ahead and if we pass the categories here make sure you reference the same name in the view so we get categories we get we pass out to the view here we have access to it so we loop around through all the categories and then we create um, the drop down let me go ahead and refresh this and here we see the categories from the database populated dynamically so we got that part done now next thing that we need is we need to go ahead and to be able to store you know the uh, the the question to the database so when we get the request here we're going to type public function post question request request and this will be like all the values that are passed in through our request and we will, we will show you how that works also well, but now that we have this ready to go make sure that this is whatever you call it in the HTTP routes so make sure that matches the name so whatever you call it down here we call the post question and make sure that matches post question simply here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and dump the request once we get it all right so now that we have this let's put a title so I'm gonna say test and a body test and PHP and submit it and here we go we have our request coming up so what we want to do here is let's go ahead and just print out we know that we have a title so if I I can directly access the title here and go back and let me submit again and now I should just see test print out because that's the title and we have that access to the request itself okay so now that we have this we want to go ahead and create a model and the model we want to create is for the posts so to create the post model here let's go ahead and do the same thing so under models I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it save this post.php I'm going to open the categories I'm going to copy paste make sure you change this to post and this will call posts that's the table name and we have a title this helps with mass assignments so basically if people trying to insert diff different, different things in our database uh, this will only allow it to insert a title and a body that we need in our database and also the category ID all right so now that we have that and we have the post model here we can go back to our controller and we need to include that as well in here so I'm gonna type use models category and uh, post so now that we have that included within our post question here function what we want to go ahead is we want to go ahead and store that in the database okay so we can do that many different ways in in this case I'm just gonna call this post I'm gonna send that equal to a new post and now what I can do here is I can do post since I created the object here and I referenced the post model I, I have access to the columns so I can say post and what was our first column name which was the category ID right and I can set that equal to the request and I'm gonna set that equal to the request and go back here to the view itself so if I go under views and question and here what do we call this 
So the select, we don't have a category ID passed in. We need to give this a name so this will get submitted. So I will call, I will give the select a name and I will set the name to be a category. And this will pass in the value. So it will pass in whatever the value here will be, which will be the category ID when we hit submit. Okay, so I'm just gonna set that equal to the category. And I'm gonna copy this. So next field is the title. And that's also a title. And the last field was the body. Now, to simply save this, all we gotta do, or create, insert the record in our table, we gotta type post and save. And this will create the record. So basically, we are setting whatever, the, whatever is coming in the request, the data, we're setting those equal to the model, to the columns, and then we're inserting those. So we're saying, okay, the category ID, this is the value for it. Title, this is the value for it. And then body, this is the value for it. And then we're saying, okay, go ahead and insert those. And once we're done inserting, we can we can go somewhere so we can redirect. So we can do a return here and we can redirect. And I'm gonna say redirect and then you can say uh, intended. And then if it doesn't find intended redirection, you can take it back home. But before we go ahead and save this, let's go ahead and print out something here just so we can see that we are actually, actually let's go ahead in our table here first. Go to your local host and I'm gonna go in the post table here, make sure we do have no data in here. Go back, I'm gonna refresh this one. So now that I have this title, I'm gonna say uh, post, okay, PHP post one going to be a category of PHP and I'm going to say this is a test post. So once we hit this submit it should save the post and then take us back or insert the post in the post table here and also take us back to the home page. So go ahead and click post and we have an error here because I misspelled intended. Let's go back. Make sure you don't misspell stuff, guys. Okay, so this redirect is not really working. Let me go ahead and remove this for right. I'm gonna comment that out, and we wanna see this post being saved. In this case, we have saved the post twice, as you can see here, but the redirect did not return us back to the homepage itself. So if I go ahead, what I will do here is I'm going to uncomment this and I'm going to go ahead and type redirect back. So this will take us back to the post page after we've posted this. So you see here, we've inserted this in our table itself and now I'm going to redirect back. All right, so let me go ahead and delete these two posts from the database and show you guys that this will insert and also redirect us back. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back here to our post and I'm gonna type test post. I'm gonna make this a Java category and I'm gonna save test body post. We save that and now we're back here to our, to our page. And if I go to the database, I see the post itself and I see the category ID is four and to value to make sure that this is coming from the categories table I can go back and make sure that categories here make sure that Java I believe was number four so it's category ID four and that matches so we were able in this tutorial guys we were able to save the post uh, to, in the database and redirect back to the um, post page in the next tutorial what we will do is actually uh, we're going to insert some validation for this so when people submit stuff we can actually validate it so we will do the validation in the next tutorial before we save this we want to validate the fields like basically make sure like 
they have a minimum number of characters and make sure certain things like that make sure like the title is coming in is not empty in this like in the current state it would just insert whatever is there it would just create a new row even if it's blank but we do not want to do that and we will insert that functionality in the next tutorial thank you for watching this tutorial guys and stick around for the next tutorial